Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm excited to share with you a creative way to utilize row level security to control which pages a user has the ability to access within a report. Now honestly I got inspired for this when someone asked me if you could conditionally hide the page tabs. While you can't do precisely that, what you can do is use the page navigation button paired with a page name slicer selection and then enforce which pages users can access via that method. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So you'll notice that I have at the top here something called page navigation. That is just a standard slicer connected to a disconnected table. And what I have is three things listed in here, homepage, industry details, and marketing details. These each reflect pages that we have down at the bottom. There's the homepage, which is unhidden. And then everything else in here has been hidden, including these other two pages for marketing and industry details. Now, if you're curious about the actual setup for page navigation itself and how that was built, I have another video that will walk you through how to do that. So I will link you to the video over on the left and down below in the description that will show how to do that. But the focus of this one will be showing you how to change the selection of those page navigation filters that are in there, depending on the person's uh, credentials and what permissions they have. So you can hide certain pages. So let's go ahead and walk through that. So I'll show you what I mean in action. So I'm going to come up over to modeling. I'm going to go to view as. And I want to activate my user role of a security role and other user. And in this case, I'm going to put in a certain user's login who has limited pages to view. Paste his name into there. Click OK. And now if I come up to this drop down, we'll see that I have an option to either go to the home page, which is the page that we're on right now, or marketing details. Notice that industry details is now gone from this list. So let me show you how I set this up to be able to have the ability to change the pages that are accessible for permissions depending on what pages might have sensitive information or not. Uh, I think this is a very useful feature. So what this is in here is a selection that is coming from a disconnected page navigation page. If I actually go over to the data tab and go to page navigation, you'll see that that's being filtered to two rows into here based on this user role of a security table. So as you see in here, Clint has permissions for page ID one and two when that is keyed back to the page navigation table that's just these two. If I click stop viewing, you'll see that there's a total of three pages, but the role of security table filtered this table based on the permissions set up in here. I'm the owner of the company. I have the permission to see all three pages. That is my security access. Clint only has permission to see the IDs for page one and two. Sarah only has them for one and three. And that in the relationships tab over here, You'll notice I have my user role of a security table. I have a relationship between page ID between the two of them. And in here, well, like with any other role of a security turned on, you normally will have bi-directional turned on to both, apply security filter in both directions. And under manage roles, there's a role of a security group called user RLS, where for this table, the login, which is the user principal name, that just equals whatever the user principal name is for their login when they log into Power BI through Active Directory. Go ahead and close out of this, come back to the main page. Now there's one other thing I want to mention about this. What I also wanted to do as part of the settings for this slicer is I wanted single selection turned on so a selection is always being made. That's the option in here where you come into selection controls, single select is turned on. Now the issue that I had initially come up with and encountered when I was doing this is if you have any of these other ones selected like industry details, if that is the default selection when you publish, even if the role of security gets rid of that, that slicer selection will still remain in this slicer. So I added a specific row for home page, and that's basically the anchor that I'll have as the default selection when I publish. And then these other two ones will either show up or disappear depending on permissions. And overall, I do think this is a practical solution for the scenarios where you might have certain pages that in a report you want to hide. Basically now you can just go and hide all the tabs except for your home page that in theory everybody has access to. And then from this drop down list, those are the conditional items that you can show or hide with the button selection and role of security. So that's one additional way to help configure the model and then show or hide things depending on just general permissions. So hopefully this is something you can implement or find useful in the reporting or modeling development that you do. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.